Yeah, welcome all of you on the platform of your PD education, the dedicated platform created for engineering students uh, related to their career options. And uh, today, no, I'm going to discuss with you uh, uh, a very important approach which uh, students should follow if they want to land up in MS or PhD programs in IITs, IICs, and different institutes of the world also. So uh, you know M.Tech के लिए largely क्या है M.Tech में uh, if you want to take admission in M.Tech then the criteria is GATE score uh, maximum there can be a written test but research proposal या research statement या ऐसी चीज वो नहीं मांगता but when you go for M.S and Ph.D then research proposal research statement S.O.R इन चीजों की requirement होती है and Ph.D में और भी ज़्यादा होती है तो those of you who aspire to be in M.S or Ph.D courses India or abroad they must follow this strategy which I have discussed earlier also with you and I'm going to discuss once again with you and keep this in mind and those students who are even taking the paid consultancy from us they need to go for this uh, that will help us because I'm explaining this each and every time to the students uh, if you keep this and start doing it as of now it will be very good because applications of majority IITs will start coming in mid March by that time at least this thing you should do you should identify research proposal for you your research domain for you that is something which you have to do so if you are from any background uh, of engineering or science any background this approach is something which you have to follow if you want to get admission into MS or PhD and you know MS PhD ke liye criteria is BTEC CGPA plus GATE so not very high gate is required but BTEC CGPA should be good I mean good I mean 7 CGPA plus or 7.5 CGPA plus is supposed to be good 8 CGPA plus is supposed to be really good I mean that you will get the calls so uh, this is how you have to do it now I have taken one department of IIT Bombay that is civil engineering department let us say and suppose I'm a student of civil engineering department and I'm interested to pursue my masters MS or PhD from civil engineering department of IIT Bombay then this is what I am to do. I am to go to the department, civil engineering department of IIT Bombay and in that department I am to go into let us say uh, research areas and uh, what people are working in that particular research area. Let us say uh, when I went to research area some specializations will come. Now first thing you need to tell yourself that which research area you want to go for. I mean what is your favorite domain geotech water resource remote sensing structural ocean construction technology and management now how shall we decide sir what is our research area number one your own interest or temperament that is first criteria sir I am very much interested in structural engineering because these subjects are strong hai, BTEC level pe. so I want to go for this and should your BTEC project or industrial training be related to this if it is related very good if it is not related even don't bother sir I have done my BTEC project in transportation but now I want to go for structural engineering can I go for that answer is yes you can go for that as I told you BTEC project cannot be the criteria to choose this listen again BTEC project cannot be the criteria to choose this in BTEC project you can say okay, sir we have done a group of students and we were not having the liberty or freedom to choose the topic professor was assigned to us and we did the topic of that professor that's it but your interest is very very important to choose this you cannot do justice in master's program if you are not very much interested in the topic so sir what should be the criteria to choose the specialization for me your interest and your strong uh, basically knowledge of the domain aapka strong field hona chahiye wo because agar aap isme se bolte hain water resource ya geotech ya structure to structure mein se question puchhega wo aapse strength of material structural engineering should be really good for you then so sir interest is criteria and mai isme strong hona chahiye to maine apne liye research area choose kar liya now it makes sense uh, ki agar aap ek bar research area apne liye choose kar lo to majority iits vagaira mein and nits mein aap wahi area mein apply karo because you can prepare it in depth and then prepare this in depth for interview also written exam also entire civil engineering ka knowledge gate level ka to tumhe rakhna hi hai saath mein this in depth knowledge you should have wherever you uh, come across some written test and agar ms ka call structure se hai to probability is high ke wo structure ke question tumse written exam mein puchhega plus mathematics he may not ask you question from geotech or uh, some another domain but only structure normally that is what happens so you need to prepare this particular domain as of now so sir if I am civil engineering student interested to MS what should I do now before result comes you should identify the specialization for you and when I call you you should tell me that sir my domain of uh, specialization is structure so one thing is done 
सर बट माई माई स्कोर इन गेट इज नॉट वेरी हाई आई एम कंफ्यूज वेदर आई शुड गो फॉर स्ट्रक्चर और शुड आई गो फॉर लेट से वाटर रिसोर्स इंजीनियरिंग और कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट इसमें लो स्कोर कैन गो दैट कैन ऑल्सो वन क्राइटेरिया सो इफ यू इफ यूर फेवरेट इज स्ट्रक्चरल गिवन द चॉइस यू विल ज्वाइन स्ट्रक्चर बट सर आई वॉन्ट टू ऑल्सो टेक केयर ऑफ कि अगर वर्स्ट ऑफ द वर्स्ट केस में आई गेट सम प्लेटफॉर्म आई वॉन्ट टू लैंड अप इन आई टी बॉम्बे सम हाउ देन गो फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट और ओशियन इंजीनियरिंग because is make competition will be less so identify two domains for you that will help you two to three domains maximum not more than that best is this then this worst case me this that is what i you have to do that okay now uh isme once once you go into this he has given in detail about each domain what are the facilities what are the various uh, uh, domains and what they are doing in those domains everything labs and everything is mentioned what is going to be there so i would like you to go in depth about each of the dep uh, department and read what is there like uh, what is there in uh, uh, let's say construction technology and management mein kya hai so you can in detail read this all what is there in construction technology and management concrete technology mineral and chemical mixture isme se bhi construction technology and management mein what are you interested what are you interested in this also so that you read and you see machine learning enabled construction safety management sir i am interested in machine learning that's a buzzword nowadays and lot of career options there as a civil engineer can i go for machine learning in this yes then you identify machine learning enabled construction safety management you see it looks like quite interesting to me machine learning enabled construction safety management or modeling for that matter <coughs> building information modeling you identify that for you no sir but from where i will get the knowledge of machine learning enabled construction safety management i will take you to the next step you go to the people you go to the professor because if this is the course is being taught in iit bombay some professor must be teaching it and it must be his favorite domain he must have published a lot of papers maybe he is on nptel he must be having videos on that and that is what we have to identify then take the paper start reading that and they do not expect much knowledge from a btech student they expect that he should have some inclination some research he should have done that is what exactly i keep on telling you anyhow then i identified this now after having identified the specialization for you then what we have to do is this what we have to do is we are to then go to people and faculty more exploration you do more you explore the website and department and people and research areas better it will be for your research domains then i start seeing the professors okay this fellow is into hydrodynamics ocean structures neural networks soft computing hydrology you keep on seeing various domains whatever is of interest to you you stop there you will stop there earthquake vibration control sir i want to pursue in earthquake vibration control at least that we should identify <clears throat> vibration control hazard seismic hazard assessment that is what we want to enter into so each and every faculty is working into some particular domain some particular area that is what we have to slowly 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 we have to uh, explore and see what people are working sir he is working sustainable urban transportation planning that is also quite interesting topic to work in you can go for that also right so this is how you keep on uh, exploring what different professors are working in which areas they are working ground work flow okay pollution investigation ground work flow and pollution investigation looks like good watershed management that is also quite interesting topic watershed management i want to work in sir watershed management computational fluid dynamics cfd let me tell you for mechanical and civil engineering students cfd is one of the very very important tool or uh, basically i'll say uh, 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 further learning domain in which they can pursue their higher education very very interesting suppose i want to now explore further about this professor so let's go and uh, check his uh, profile uh, what are the domains in which he is working okay so this is what is the details of this professor what he is working into what are the various domains what are the research areas what are the projects being done what are the publications everything you will get it from here uh, let's see research areas okay the moment you go to research areas you will find all these things watershed management 
watershed modeling gis and remote sensing application in water resource rainfall runoff modeling rainwater harvesting is very very important topic urban drainage and flood modeling important domain is there so these are some of the very very important domains in which he is working uh, let us say what domain he is teaching these are the various uh, subjects i think being taught by this professor and these are the projects being done right so when you go here from these projects you will get the research statement you will identify what research statement i am to write you need to go through this and from there you can write some research statement ground water pollution studies in this particular domain velocity vorticity method in solution of estuary hydrodynamic problems using dual reciprocity boundary element method so they are all research papers the moment you read these papers you will understand the meaning of all this right publications when you go to publication now you will find the research papers and you know nptel is also one of the very important source of learning and you will find many professors are on nptel and your pda is also going to uh, tell you which are the important videos on nptel or other youtubes which you people should listen so like uh, there is a fluid mechanics ke upar video course hai nptel ka right so these videos are all already available there watershed management ke upar hai sir maine watershed management maine identify kar liya ki this is the research area on which i want to go from where i should learn more about watershed management there are video course on watershed management 40 videos lecture is there the moment you listen that don't you think your entire watershed management ka knowledge will be enhanced and then you can make a research proposal also for you very easily finite element method fem is very very important so uh, fem can be learned and fem ke upar bhi video lectures hain this is the book only but there are video lectures on fem also so related nptel ke videos also you can uh, go through and you can listen right so he has written some books also and all these things publication research areas experience these particular domains i think this way you can continuously go into uh, i think uh, various research areas in which uh, this uh, professor is working into so that was uh, my brief introduction what how you people are to enter into various research areas and identify some research domains for you this is the high time before the result of the gate is announced this is a high time for you to think of some particular research area for you in which you want to pursue your higher education so go to various departments now uh, you are a civil engineer you just uh, saw the iit bombay site and then you go to iit kanpur you go to iit madras you go to iit delhi keep exploring it and at the end identify sir i want to go in for watershed management i want to use cfd computation of fluid dynamics for this areas uske base pe research area ban jayega and then you suggest us ki this professor ka work i am finding relevant please help me out you made one page one paragraph and then our mentor is going to tell you okay this is how you can put it in a nice way and then you can proceed forward which videos are very good you can understand from your own self exploration also and our mentors will also guide you these are the videos on which you have to make it so if you are interested for ms and after ms you want to go to top 20 universities of the world which we will go we want that only at the end because that is the best thing for us then this particular technique or strategy for exploration will be very useful and helpful to us fine keep doing this and i will again keep on coming for such kind of videos thank you